Cha. My name is Alexander Osei Kwame. Possible. You can call me Possible for short from Ghana. To, now, in our previous lecture, we look at how to derive the proportional tax multiplier when transfer payment is not given, right? So we derive it, right? Now, I'm repeating it. Listen to me very carefully. I've told you that transfer payment has no effect on the... Uh, on the multiplier, I hope it makes sense. Transfer payment has no effect, or it cannot alter the, uh, the, uh, the multiplier or the general multiplier. Rather, lump sum tax or proportionate tax is what has an effect on the multiplier. I hope it makes sense. And when you go to an open economy, import also has an effect on the multiplier. Now, today we are going to look at how to derive the proportionate tax multiplier. When transfer payment is given, when transfer payment is given, the computation of the trans of the multiplier will still remain the same. I hope it makes sense. Nice one. Now let us look at that one. You see, I'm taking my time to take you through them step by step so that you understand it. I hope it makes sense. Nice one. So we are going to get but C is equal to A plus B Y D. And yd is equal to y minus tax plus transfer payment. I hope it makes sense. So c is equal to a plus b into bracket y minus ty plus tr. I hope it makes sense. C is equal to a plus b y minus b t y plus b t r so now we can put it into the aggregate expenditure function so aggregate expenditure is equal to consumption which is a plus b y minus b t y plus b t r plus investment plus government spending at equilibrium At equilibrium, right? Aggregate expenditure is equal to income or output, right? So aggregate expenditure, so we are going to get y equal to a plus b y minus b t y plus b t r plus investment plus government government spending. Now, once we have reached here, we are going to group like terms, right? So, grouping of like terms, you are going to get income minus by plus bty, bty equal to a plus btr plus investment plus government spending. I hope it makes sense. Now, grouping of like terms, you're going to get Y1 minus B plus BT equal to A plus BTR plus I plus D. I hope it makes sense. Now, we can divide both sides by 1 minus B plus BT 1 minus B plus b t i hope it makes sense this one will cancel this y equal to one over one minus b plus b t times a plus b t a plus b t r plus investment plus government spending now the general multiplier, general multiplier, when transfer payment is included in the proportionate tax, is equal to 1 over 1 minus B plus BT or 1 over 1 minus B, 1 minus T. It's the same thing. I hope it makes sense. This time this is minus B and this time this is plus T, the same thing. So this is the general multiplier, right? Good.
We are going to look at the individual multipliers and the proportional tax multiplier when transfer payment. In fact, it is going to be like the, the first one, right? The difference or the change would only be this one over here. And that one, okay, let us look at it. All right. Pause. Now, multiplier says that change, right? So we are going to find the change here. The change here. The change here, the change will come here, transfer payment, right? The change here, the change here, right? So if you want transfer payment, transfer payment multiplier is going to be K equal to B over 1 minus B plus BT times or times change in tr and i've told you that you can also let it be like this one over this then you bring it here it's the same thing it's multiplication right good but i don't like that because it doesn't prove me to be a good mathematics student right that's how it is so this one will give us transfer payment multiplier right transfer payment multiplier if you want this one investment multiplier is going to be one over one minus b plus bt times change in investment that is investment multiplier government multiplier is going to be one over one minus b plus bt times change in government all right so that is the government multiplier once again my name is alexander oseko i'm impossible from ghana and this is what we have gotten in our next lecture we are going to look at how to derive the propo how to derive the multiplier when both proportional tax and lump sum tax are given when the two taxes are being given what will be the effects i hope it makes sense i've told you that is that it is a tax that causes an effect on the multiplier and you have seen that when lump sum tax is given to you when lump sum tax is given to you the multiplier will be 1 over 1 minus b and when the proportional tax also is being given to you the mod the general mod the general multiplier will be like this now the question is when the two of them are being given what to be the multiplier that is what you are going to look at in our next lecture bye bye